Well, this is California. What's the deal? It was nice yesterday. Yeah. There's a lot of fog yesterday too, though, wasn't it? <laughs> For a lot of us in, in the championship, uh, you know, we, we all come from road racing and, and oval was, uh, you know, not something that we'd done growing up and, and that was a bit of a shock to the system, but it's nice to get back to our roots and it's a lot of fun, you know, I can't complain and, and uh, hopefully they'll add a few more in the next few years. Well, the place definitely grabs your attention, I mean, it's it. there's no other track like it with huge elevation changes like that. You go out in the track in a regular car, in a regular rental car, or whatever, a passenger car, and the elevation changes seem to be dramatic. Well, when you get into the, one of these cars, you're only a couple feet off the ground. It's a, it's a massive, massive drop and a massive uh, increase in elevation. So it's a lot of fun from the driver's perspective. I love the place. Um, I wish we had a couple more of these tracks on the schedule. A lot of being successful on elevation change tracks is, is knowing your turning points and a lot of the points where you turn in are blind and, and the exits are blind so uh, just knowing being familiar with the track the familiarity with the track is, is a huge huge advantage and I didn't have that when I first showed up here now you know, now I'm getting the hang of that and um, you can't do enough laps around the track like Sonoma. <laughs> You know, we're still in 07. Um, you know, for me, it's sort of just you know getting in some testing and, and uh, you know trying to make some improvements for next year. But I think for me, mentally, I won't really gear up for it until January, February. And, and uh, you know, I think if you if you start too early, you might peak a little too early, and we don't want that again. You know, we came up a little short, and you know, next year we do, we just want to go to the top and, and try and uh, you know, get another championship for for our team. But, uh, I haven't even gone on the road car to look at it yet, so I've seen it on a map, and, and uh, you know, to, to be honest, I think with, with it moving from you know to the right a little bit on both sides of the circuit, it's not going to change it that much. But uh, it should hopefully lengthen you know the straight and maybe make it a little bit tighter, so the braking zone is, is more of a passing opportunity. And uh, any time they can do that, it's going to be great, uh, not just for, for you know us race car guys, but um, for the fans, and that's that's what we've got to keep in mind. So. You, uh, you know, I'll maybe let you know in the next few days after we, we start running on it. Um, but it's still going to be tough to pass. You know, the competition's so tight, and, and, and trying to make any uh, headway on any traffic's tough. But uh, I think it should be a good option. I think it could help. It'll definitely create more dive bomb maneuvers. It'll be better for the fans. And uh, it's, it's a much tighter area now to get back going the other way. So we'll have to make some changes to the car. But I think, I think it could be an improvement for racing. The jury's still out on that. Though. Basically, you have to make the car work at certain points in this track, and, and, um, and that's, our, that's where we need to work hard in this test, is to get the car at those three key points working at its optimal. So we're going to be working on that, trying some different things, and basically, you know, I have to become even more familiar with the track, and, and there's always things you can, when you're, when you're dealing with elevation changes, there's always, there's always a few different ways to attack it, and I need to go out and, and try those different ways, and that's, uh, I think that's what we're trying to get accomplished here today and tomorrow. We have Helio, man, that's all I can say, you know, that's, uh, it's more than uh, NASCAR's got, so you know we, we've. Uh, I think we're we're looking strong for next year. There's a lot of a uh, lot of talent. We have got Briscoe coming back for Penske. Um, you know he's going to be very tough to beat for the championship, and we still got a, a strong field. You know losing those two guys, um, you know especially Dario and, and Sam. You know it, it is tough, um, but you know they've they've done a lot in this uh, in this series, and they want to see what uh, they can achieve later on in their you know their career. So. You know, I think you've got to give them a bit of, a bit of credit for sort of stepping out of the box and trying to do that. And, uh, you know, all the best to them. But, you know, I think we're still looking good.